Hello, muffins. Yeah, back in my bedroom. This is just easier for me and it's a little bit more convenient to film in here. My lips are going through it. I don't know what's happening. If I look crazy, I do have some color corrector on. Brows are done, I need to. I, oh crap, I forgot to. I forgot my eye base. BRB. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Okay, I'm back. My base is on. I really hope this lighting is okay. I hated the way it looked in the last video. It was way too blown out, so I apologize. But I'm working through it, y'all. I'm trying my best. Uh, please don't mind my hair. Once again, as I said in the last one, I don't know what to do with it now that it's like this at this length. So, so I've already done this video and it was first impressions. Well, I hated it. I hated the way I looked in it. And I know we are our own worst critics, but it was just, I hated it so much. I hated the lighting. I hated the angle. I feel like I looked terrible. I don't know. I'm just struggling, y'all. So here we are. We're going to do it again. The good thing about it is I can tell you my thoughts on it because it's not like, it's not the very first time I've used these products. So we're going to look at the bright side. So I initially went to Ulta looking for these. Essence came out with new palettes. So your girl picked up the Miami palette. Super cute. They had other ones, but this color story was calling to me with that blue and those purples. But then impulse buy. I passed the ColourPop display and they had these and some of their brand new lip glosses and I couldn't pass this up. So let's see, I hope it translates. Yeah, it looks purpley. So it's this little burgundy purple moment. It's very, very cool. It was just so pretty. And this is the Coast is Clear Pressed Powder Palette. So let me swatch this one for you. So here we go, lots of shimmers. Very pretty. Tried to fit them all in one row, but I couldn't. But you get the gist of it. I love these little nine pan palettes from ColourPop. Let's swatch the Essence palette. So that is the first row. It's very hard to see that first shade. It's like the color of my skin. There's the first row and there's the second row. Very pretty. Just really loved this color story out of all the ones I had to choose from. Swatching these, these feel, if you're a pan, if you're a pan, if you're pan, if you're a fan of their six pan palettes, I feel like this is an even better formula and I did like those. So we're gonna do a look with this one, I think, because I know how ColourPop works. But something I was so excited about, Terra Moons started offering a few of their shadows on Amazon and yeah, girl picked two up. So the first one I got is Radial Velocity. Look at that, beautiful. And the other one is Aphelion, Aphelion. Don't know how to say it. I love both of these. Stunning. So I think we will use these with the Essence palette. So let us zoom you in and we will create a look. Sorry about the green color corrector and my lips are a hot mess. So I think we want to do like a purple and blue look. So I'm actually going to start with this kind of pinky lavender. So normally I would just do the look and put the music behind it and just kind of show you the progression, but I've been doing it this way lately and I would really love to know what you all think. If you like this better, where I kind of talk through it, or if you like it where I'm just, it's like shut up and just do the makeup, play some music over it <laughs> and get through it. Let me know what you like better. So I'm just putting this like pinky purple on the inside of the eye. I think, I'm trying to think, I kind of want to do purple on the top cut the crease, use the green, oh, okay. Using this purple now, just going in with the same brush. As you can see, these shades are so easy to blend. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan, but not a ton. And they just blend out effortlessly. I was actually shocked by how good the mattes are in this Essence palette. It, um, you know, I could tell that their formula was getting better when they released the six pans. 
I have the coral and the green in the six pan and you know I was shocked when those came out I was like okay they're getting so much better but I think they've even they've improved even more with this formula the shimmers are very thin and squishy which is not my most favorite formula but it's not bad by any means go in with this teal next so adding this blue is just going to make this lavender more purpley see so it actually kind of gives a cool gradient and i think i want to use a colored liner maybe just taking that brush that had the lavender on it and kind of buffing the edges so just to let y'all know what's coming up next i did order the new elf halo glow the one that's supposed to be the dupe for the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter got that one coming i'm going to compare those two because i do or i did I had the mini and I can kind of let y'all know if it's anything like it. But also I have the Michaela collab with Glamlight, but it's been sitting in shipping, saying it shipped for over a week now. So I don't know what's happening with that. It should have been here, but we'll see. And then I also got the Blend Bunny palette, the new Primal palette. and. That one already shipped and I just ordered it, I think, Friday. So I think I'm going to take this dark purple and kind of contouring of the eye. This could muddy it up. If it does, we will simply cover it with shimmer. These dark mattes in this palette are so stinking creamy. It's kind of insane. Just contouring my crease a little bit. I don't know if you see how you can tell the difference. This one makes me look a little bit more like I have a crease. Just kind of brushing it where I would like a crease to be. We make our own. Us hooded eye people. I was talking to another creator about doing a collab. So if there's any of you out there who create as well and would like to do a collab, I'm always down to help others and support each other. It's tough out here in these YouTube streets, especially for us people who are over the age of, you know, say 35. Okay, looks a little crazy, but I think we'll be okay once it all comes together. I'm currently out of my NYX glitter primer, so I'm gonna go in with the uh, Alamar Cosmetics. Oh my God, Charlie Horse. Pero primer. I really do like this. It's just slightly less tacky than the NYX. I feel like Alamar is kind of underrated. I love their blush formula. I wanted that Encanto collab really bad, but at the time I had just lost my job. So if anybody has that palette, let me know how you like it. If not tried their shadow formula. So I'm going to put Radial Velocity over on this side. Dirty Refer 21. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That is stunning. I'm obsessed with that. And y'all know how I feel about the word obsessed. I hate it. Wow. I did. Oh, that's another thing I ordered. I did order the Terra Moons pre order for the new shades. I picked up five. So I'll re. I'll be reviewing that as well. I just want to look like a mermaid all, of, all the time. Mm, gorgeous. And I think this will go because it is pink, but it's got like a little, it's got like a teal kind of shifty glitter in it. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See what I mean? Oh my god, it is so pretty. This one is like a touch more sheer than the bluish. Just trying to blend those edges. I'm covered in sparkles. Just trying to even up these edges. Some of you wanted to see me use the NYX eye paints, and I'm wondering if I should do a liner with those. I can't stop looking at the shift. I could add like a touch of the blue 
to make it a little more like lavender. All right, we'll try it. I am going to thin it out a little bit with the AOA dupe for Durloin. And I'm going to make it big because I do have a black liner I want to use. So I think we'll do it like a double wing. This is an Aqua Elite Princeton brush, number one. Got this at Michael's. And it is a great liner brush. So like I said, I'm going to make this wing kind of big because I want to do a double wing. So yeah, I see they're pretty good. Uh, you do sometimes have to go over it a second time, but I don't mind that. They don't get gross or crusty, but they're pretty pigmented. See, it's not bad. Okay, we'll let that dry then do the second coat. While I'm waiting on that to dry so that I can put my other liner on, we're going to try out, I got this in my last Ipsy and it is the but I know it's new. It's the Ciate Dewy Skin Vitamin C Glass Glow Primer. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on while I'm waiting on that to dry. Going in with about that much. I've already done my skin prep, which I'm going to talk about because that's what I actually picked up. It's actually one of the things I picked up at Ulta. Well, that is very, very glowy. <laughs> It has vitamin C, yuzu, vitamin C, dragon fruit, and yuzu extracts. I gotta be honest, it feels a little bit greasy, but we'll see how it wears. It's slightly tacky, so. So the other new thing I picked up was the Viral Essence Lash Princess Liner, and your girl got waterproof. So because it's a double wing, I'm just kind of stamping this along the lash line. And what I've noticed about this is while, yes, it's chunky, it does have a very, very, let me show you, a very, very fine tip. So once you get used to like the actual pen itself being chunky, you can get a very, very precise line. And I just love Essence. I feel like they've really stepped up and just become one of the best drugstore brands. Even people that are like not into makeup, like I have friends that they're just like, okay, what's well, a good mascara? And I always re recommend the Lash Princess. There we go, a little double wing. I'm gonna put some foundation on. Yep, I'm gonna put some foundation on and then we can move on. Okay, I put some foundation on and I used thanks to Lauren May Beauty <laughs> the Yensa and I really like it and I'd forgotten that I liked it until I saw her video but I had forgotten that I have a mascara so I have this new one also from Essence this mm, another volume mascara just better standard straight brush but can you see how they spiral so I'm gonna, all right, we're gonna do this without curling the lashes. So I apologize in advance. So let me throw on a couple coats of this and we'll see how it, how it does. We know I have pitiful lashes, but not bad. Okay, third coat here in a second. This is not bad, y'all. Like if you have decent lashes, yeah. That's probably one of the better ones I've tried lately. Throw these lashes on and we'll talk about them. FYI, this foundation brush I got in the color Pop Mystery Box is awesome. So I threw on these lashes and I love these. I, another Amazon find, I decided to get, try a new style and these are by Jamir, which is my favorite lash brand on Amazon. These are like a total dupe for the Ardell Demi Wispies. So if you're looking for a cheap dupe, you get 10 pair for like seven bucks. I'll link it below. These are super cute for just every day. Okay, so give this mascara a try. I mean, for $3.99, you can't really go wrong. But if you do try it, let me know. I'm gonna stay zoomed in for a minute and we're gonna talk about the next thing I picked up. Viral Winky Lux Peeper Perfect concealer. I got the lightest shade fair and spoiler alert, <laughs> best concealer I've tried in a couple years. I, I, I didn't expect this to live up to the hype like it has, but I'm going to show you. So I'm going to take my AOA foundation brush. We're going to dot it. I purposely didn't go all the way up with my 
foundation. So I just put the tiniest little dot on my hand. I let it sit for like 20, 30 seconds and I'll show you the blend. Is that not stunning? It's absolutely gorgeous. And it doesn't crease. You may be asking, can you build it up? Yes, you can. I'm gonna add a little more and this time I'm gonna go on my sponge. It's very light. It's almost like a serum. I wish you could have seen my reaction to the first time I tried this. Because when something is viral, we're like, mm. Yeah, you're right. Very seldom do viral things work out for me. But look at that. I'm completely obsessed with this and I haven't used another concealer since I tried it. Just saying. I'm gonna put on a little bit of contour and then we're gonna try a cream bronzer. And since we're doing mostly affordable, I'm just gonna use my NYX little bronzer stick. Okay, just a little bit of contour. I don't remember where I saw this, but this is supposed to be a dupe for the Chanel cream bronzer. And this is the number seven Bronze Chic Universal Bronzing Balm. This is what it looks like on the inside and it is very, pretty warm. But I do find that on, it's actually a very, very pretty bronzer shade. So I'm taking this little brush from uh, Luxie I got this in an Ipsy and it's just the best brush. I wish it was like longer. It looks like it's gonna be like super warm, but it's not. And see, it just gives just some like warmth to the face. And now I would say if you are very tan too deep, this is obviously not going to work for you. But I just think that is such a pretty shade. This one's good too if I'm like, I went too light with my foundation. These ears, it's just very, very, very emollient. But I've really been enjoying that. When I first opened it, I thought, oh, that is not going to work. But actually, it works pretty well. This would be really good for the body too. Okay, I have not tapped out that concealer and look, still not creasing and it's been like five minutes. I'm just blown away by it. Okay, let's powder. I've been back on this powder again, this Revlon Candid powder. It is so, so good. This is not a new powder, but look how beautiful that looks. Next up are what I picked up for blushes. And the first thing is Benefit came out with some new blushes and I've heard everyone raving about this shade in particular called Shelly. And it's this little peachy moment. Of course, I got the mini because I will never go through a whole box blush of Benefit. So I put a little bit on my hand. It's just this glowy like coral shade. Very, very pretty for summer. So we got Shelly and then also not a new product from Benefit, but one I've never tried and it's Dandelion. It's, sorry, Dandelion Twinkle and it's like a highlighter. And this actually very much reminds me of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Highlighter. I'll put a little here on my hand with the brush and see if you can. It's just like this lit from within glow. There you go. Very, very beautiful. And I don't think I want to use Shelly though because it's kind of the wrong undertone. I want to use what I got next. Now, I was looking for a bronzer and I came across this in Ulta. Again, ColourPop getting me with the impulse buys. And this is the Just A Flush Cheek Palette. Now I have another one of these that is a blush palette. So I have this one which is the Cookie Cluster and it has three, three blushes and a highlighter but I had not seen one with a bronzer in it. And this one had a bronzer and actually a beautiful bronzer shade. So again, this is just a flush. And we've got this like really pretty neutral blush. We've got this super shock 
highlighter. And then these two pinky mauve shades. So there we go. And from top to bottom, we have so healthy, the highlighter. The bronzer is feisty much. The light shade is just cheeky. And then the darker one is sassy pants. And I think this is what I'm gonna use because let's set our bronzer with this. Get my brush from Melt. This is the just perfect shade of bronzer if you're fair or light. Very neutral, but not too cool toned either. It's not pretty. And I really like that these powders are not like too flat, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take this shade and go in first and kind of put that all over. I've really been enjoying like going ham with the blush lately. I've really been enjoying it, putting it very close to my eye and bringing it across the bridge of my nose. And I really like when there's two shades cause you can kind of do that with the lighter shade and then intensify it with the darker shade. So now I'm with the darker pink. And I feel like these are two shades that if you are fair, you really can't screw this up. Pretty. I've been really into the blush lately. Now for highlighter, let's try the Dandelion Twinkle first. And if I don't feel like it's enough, we'll go in with ColourPop. So I'm using this very dense natural hair brush. This very much <laughs> reminds, wait a minute. Oh, this has a smell. It smells like perfume. Weird. This very, very, very much reminds me of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Highlighter. It's not super highlighty, but it's just enough. And I think if you are somebody who doesn't like a blinding highlight and you just like a glow, this is perfect. That is really, really pretty. That would be pretty on a bride. But because we're extra, we're going to go in with the... Uh, Shop Miss A brush and put some of So Healthy because I do like a blinding highlight, but we're going to keep it targeted. That's like a little bit of glitter, which I am more than okay with. All right, going in with my favorite setting spray as of late, the Sunday Picnic setting gel, whatever this is from She Glam. I love this stuff. Okay, I really like the way the found or the complexion looks. And we will use Shelly maybe next time. But definitely happy to have these. Okay, added just a touch more blush. Just gonna finish the under eyes. So one of the things I really wanted to try when I saw it was the new ColourPop So Glassy lip gloss. This is new. And I got the shade Epiphany and I specifically set out to find this shade. So there it is right there, just kind of a cool neutral shade, y'all know me. And then I also picked up one of the new Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Inks and I got the shade Koi. Now I'm going to put these both on, but I need to find a liner first. So let's see if we can find one that matches. And this is the shade of the vinyl ink. Okay, I found one. It's the Shop Miss A. AOA Studio Wonder Pencil, and this one's in the shade Tease, I think. Yes, Tease. Let's, let's try this on first. Oh, it smells good. Okay, it's very thin. My lips are so dry right now, y'all. All right, let's see if it sets down. Okay, I don't get why this is viral. It's, it sets down kind of, but it's like sticky. And I don't feel like it's as opaque as I would like it. It's a little bit, it's like a little bit patchy. So if you don't have like a perfect lip outline, it looks weird. Hmm. Like it's fine, but it's not my favorite. Let's throw some gloss on and that makes everything better. Gloss just hides a multitude of sins. So glassy is bright. I feel like this is very, a very cushiony gloss, if that makes sense. Like it's, it's not at all sticky. 
Love the shine. Super pretty. And my eyelash is coming off. Okay, so two other things I picked up were, were, was, was the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. And I was looking for something to just help even out my skin tone, especially in the summer. Um, I am fair, I'm freckly, and the skin to, or the sun does a number on me skin. And since I moved to Florida, we're gonna um, we're gonna launch a preemptive strike and just start using this. So it's kind of a milky, very lightweight serum, and I've been using this now for a little while and I really really like having it in my routine. It's got some nice niacinamide but it also has transexamic acid and that's a really good ingredient that I wanted to try because I haven't tried it recently. So this was on my list and I picked it up. And then the other thing I had to repurchase my Cosrx Advanced Snail Essence. Mm, the Power 96, I think it's called. The Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This is something I use twice a day. It helps retain moisture. Um, I'll do a video talking about snail mucin, but this is something I either have this or the cream in my skincare routine. And after going without it for a while, it's something I realized I cannot go without. <laughs> and just time to buy another one. So I have been using both of these in my skincare prep. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. If I use a glowy primer like I did today, I skip the moisturizer, but otherwise I use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and of course SPF. All right, y'all. So that was testing out some new makeup, some viral makeup, and overall it went really, really well. I think the only fail I had was the Maybelline Vinyl Lip. I just don't like it. Um, the color's pretty, just don't like the way it feels. Let's see, if I had to pick my top three out of everything I tried today, definitely the Essence Palette. This one is the Welcome to Miami. Loved it, mattes are creamy, shimmers are pretty. Love this. The Terra Moons that you can get now on Amazon. They don't have every shade available, but they do have three right now and I picked up three, or I picked up two. Stunning, gorgeous, absolutely worth the hype that they get. And then three would be the Winky Lux Concealer. This stuff is amazing. If you have very creasy under eyes, dry under eyes, I would say give this a try. It's definitely worth the extra money. It is not a prestige brand, but it's also not the cheapest drugstore brand. It is definitely on the higher end of drugstore. I forgot how much I paid for this. I'll put it here. But you can get this at Target, Ulta, and I. After the, have after using this for a little while, I don't think I'll ever not have this. This is amazing. I love it. Doesn't crease, looks beautiful on mature eyes. This is something I would put in my kit. That's how much I love it because I think it would work on everyone. So this, out of all the things, shocked me the most. All right, and that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, one of my subscribers, this, sweetest person ever, Alice, and she wanted to see some puppies. So puppies will be in the next video. We may do a little bit of a vlog, uh, but yeah, got some cool things coming up. I'm excited about filming. And please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button on your way out. It's a free way that you can help me. And I appreciate you all so, so much. Uh, make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know if you've tried any of this. If you'd like to try anything, let me know. And if you just have any questions, uh, let's chat about it in the comments. Love you all so so much take care of yourself and each other and i will see you back here very very soon love you bye